SWIM is a project initiated for providing the three basic principles of education in the country, access, equity and quality. One of the unique opportunities such a project provides is for people to learn things from not just from their own college, but from colleges all around the country. The SWIM project is basically a MOOCs project, what's called a massive open online course project. The world over, the MOOCs idea sort of started about five, six years ago. The current education scenario in India is perfectly tuned for a project like this. We have an audience that's very large. It's across the country. So it is very important for us to have a setup which scales up and scales down as necessary based on demand. The online courses or MOOC application is deployed on cloud. Now, having the application on cloud is really, really important because it allows the application to scale up when the demand is high and scale down when the demand is not so high. And even if there are a million people accessing your website and portal, the cloud deployment provides a quality of service which to each person seems like they are the only person accessing the service. So that's very, very important and the cloud deployment of our application is vital for our success. We'd have multiple MOOC portals integrate through APIs to a central umbrella platform. And that allows for diversity in MOOC portals, different type of portals coming together and working. If people want to bring in a different portal, they can still do that without redoing the whole application. Working with persistent systems, we've been able to implement and maintain this platform in a very stable and reliable manner. Cloud helps us provide a much more focused delivery system. The cloud gives us a lot of flexibility, a lot of new ideas, and uh, new suggestions that we want to implement. We are in a position to implement near real time. The best part about the project is the impact that it is making in the country. It is in every village, every town across all states of India that we are seeing a ripple of people kind of breaking the barriers of education and being able to study whatever they want, whatever they are actually interested in. It's also providing people across colleges in institutions like us and companies access to very talented, smart, motivated learners across the country who otherwise may not have been identifiable. All over the world, women are denied sometimes the opportunity to education because of social circumstances or things beyond their control. And this project, I think, gives them an opportunity to pursue it as long as they want from the comfort of their homes and to be able to get on with better opportunities such as work even later on in life. This would be a great opportunity for India to realize its full potential by getting the women into the employment sector once they reskill themselves through these courses that are being offered. One of the things we have accomplished through this project is to reach out to an extremely diverse audience. And in that sense, India represents something that is a minuscule version of the entire world. And so if you can satisfy the needs of a diverse audience in India, it's very possible for us to extend the same process to address requirements across the world.